as you can see, this uh, lovely piece of flank steak is uh, sizzling away in the pot. And I'm going to cook this probably three minutes per side. And I'll turn it. And um, we're going to see what happens. It's smelling real good right now. I can smell that sea salt. Alright guys, um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like and share, and also hit that notification bell for any upcoming videos, you'll be the first one to be notified, and also write a comment, you know, are you doing this for breakfast in the morning, you can have this for lunch, you can make this for dinner, let us know if you like plain steak, alright guys, next time I bring you back is, um, where we uh, put it on the cutting board and cut into it. So please stay tuned. Good morning, family, and welcome back to our channel, Cooking with EMV. I am Eric, and we're going to do a really, really short cook today. It is 8 13 in the a.m. Um, today is Friday, it is my off day, and um, I bought this uh, boneless flank steak and what I did I um, seasoned it with a uh, smoked sea salt as you can see in this canister right here and I put it in the refrigerator overnight and um, between that I did notice that the moisture had came out and it's drawn back so there's no moisture um, on this uh, paper plate it's all got extracted back into the steak I'm going to be cooking it hot on this cast iron pot right here. And um, that's all I'm going to apply. I'm just going to have that sea salt on it, that smoked sea salt. I just want to taste that beef flavor. So um, we're going to get this, let this uh, pot get hot. As you can see, it is smoking right now. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil in it. And uh, we're just going to cook this steak, get a nice char on it. We're going to cut it uh, against the grain and see how it comes out. So um, next time I'll be talking to you is when I have the steak in the, um, in the pot. So stay tuned. Hi, right, welcome back everyone. And our flank steak is done. As you can see, it has a nice char on it. It's very juicy. I took this off at about 132 degrees and let it rest. So let's cut into this bad boy. All right, the grain is running this way. So what we're gonna do, just to make the fibers shorter, we're gonna cut it in half. And um, we're gonna get you a little picture up close. Oh, that's perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. All right, let's cut it into it. We're gonna cut on a bias. It has a nice crust on it. Very juicy inside. Very juicy. Beautiful cut of, uh, of meat. Flank steak. Always love flank steak. And of course, as everything else, it is not cheap. This little piece was actually it was on sale. It was seven bucks. It was like a uh, little less than a pound. But, um, you see the end results, it was worth every dollar. And I have some um, some finishing sea salt, really big flakes. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. We're gonna sprinkle that on top. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Oh my God, let me show you how that looks. And this is our sea salt. You can see the flakes are kind of big. I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of that. And this is also, it is smoked. Now this stuff is very, very salty, so a little bit goes a long way. And let's get a piece. Let's see salt melted in there like that. 
We're gonna get a taste test. I'm gonna bring you up close and personal here. To give the camera the movement. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Let's go in for a taste test. Mm. This is so delicious. A lot of times we put all these different seasonings on our steaks, salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, onion powder. It's fine. I love that stuff too. But sometimes you just put salt on it and let it uh, dry brine in the refrigerator. It means a world of difference. We're going to go on for another one. I want to get some more of this finishing salt put on here. It is absolutely delicious. You got to try this. Get a piece of flank steak. Get that um, that cast iron pot hot. Put it in there three minutes per side. Take it off at 132 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it rest. And these are the results that you will get. Mm, it's absolutely beautiful. It's delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. Sorry to be eating on camera like this, people. <laughs> mm. I wish Vi was here right now to enjoy this with me. Eric, I mean, <laughs> everyone, I'm Eric. You're watching Cooking with EMV. We appreciate our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. We need those thumbs up. I also like to see comments and hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on the next cook. I'm going to bring you back to the steak.